Next machine I'm going to show you is the belt sander on a stand. So you've got a four inch belt here, this one's 36 inches long, and then over here we have a seven inch uh, flat sander. So on this machine I do recommend wearing gloves because if you touch that, even for a split second with your skin, it removes it. So you want to use eyeglasses. Uh, this machine is great for just rounding edges, sanding things off. This one comes around and the direction is down, so you can pull it flat on here. You can tilt this table at different angles, or you can just freehand it. When you're using this one, it's important to know that the arrow sand is spinning this way. So when you put the piece down and you put it here, it's going to hold your piece down. If you come over here, it's going to try to pick it up. So you just have to hold down a little bit harder. And if you put it in the center, it's going to do less sanding because it's a smaller part of the disc, but you don't have that movement problem. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. If you're going to be doing a lot of sanding, you do want to use a mask. That's about it. Now I'm going to show you how to change the flat piece of sandpaper and the belt. So for this one, it self sticks. So basically, it is a sticker. You could leave this on and try to force it down in there, but it's hard to get it straight. It's actually easier if you take the table off, just remove just completely. table slides off and then you just peel this off and as it goes around you just keep pulling a lot of times it'll want to re-stick itself as you're pulling to fast the case you're going to remove these four screws actually it looks like there's six of them Then you just peel it, pull it all the way off. And then when you put the new one on, you just peel the backing off of it and then center it the best you can. I'm putting the old one back on because it's still in pretty good shape. So I don't want to waste it. Earlier I said they were seven inches, they're actually eight inch. Then you simply put the screws all back in and put your plate back on. Everything here is plastic, so you just Put the screws in until they stop. Don't go any tighter or you will crack everything. Then just align the cable back up. these back in. These allow you to move the table at an angle if you want to stand at a specific angle, so make sure you get them all the way tight and that the table is flat. As far as the belt on the other side, to loosen the belt, you pull up on this and that pulls down this pulley. But in order to get the paper out, there's two screws you have to remove. One here on the end. And the second one underneath this table right here. Once you take those out, this piece of plastic slides out, and now this belt slides off. You can place a new one on. These are not directional belts as far as which way they go. Sometimes they'll have an arrow telling you that. In this case, these are either way. 
This belt's in good shape, so I'm going to slide it back on. And then to tighten it, make sure it's lined up on the rollers, just hit this down. Then you can place the piece of plastic back on. In this case, I shouldn't have hit that down because now it won't go on. Lift that back up. Slide it back on. And put the two screws back in. Once you tighten this up, you have to set, reset the tracking. The tracking is the angle of this roller. When at any time you loosen it or move it, when you turn it back on, this disc may go left or right. You simply turn this in order to change the angle of the roller to keep it centered. Now I'm going to plug it in to check the tracking during all the maintenance. It was unplugged. So when you turn it on, I'm just going to turn it on and off to see what happens to the disc, see if it stays straight. And it stayed pretty straight, so now I'll just move the tracking just so you can see what happens. And I can see it's too far to the left, so now I can turn it back the other way. And that's where you want it. <laughs>